Hey everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and uh, I'm kind of tucked away in one of the uh, back offices in our at work um, because I, I wanted to get a little bit of video in uh, during the day. I just went out and did a mile around my block. Uh, it was fairly pretty today. You can see the sun coming in, and uh, I realized that I have about, oh, I have less than four months before my next big uh, run, and that is my half marathon. So I'm going to go home and figure out, or it may be later today, figuring out exactly how many weeks I have left and what, uh, how I need to ramp my training back up. Um, I have kind of taken a little bit of more of a lax attitude the past few weeks just because been my birthday it's been doing you know blah 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 I can list every damn excuse on the planet including this vlogmas um, I don't want to record when I after I've worked out because I look like crap excuses so um, I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon before uh, January hits so here's hoping that works um, I did also get something last night after my vlog dun, dun, dun. So, uh, I'm loving the book so far. I've, I've just gotten in like half of the um, first chapter, but uh, I showed it to my husband last night, and he's like, I'm kind of intrigued. And so, he's actually starting to kind of get on the bandwagon with me, and that's amazing. Um, the man never throws anything away, and I can attest to that by the bazillion like buckets of hard drives in our in our garage because he wants to take them apart and keep the magnets and the discs and all this and I'm like you've had buckets of hard drives in our in our garage for five years that he's never done anything with so slowly but surely I'm going to try to introduce him to this whole thing um, the other day he actually put on a shirt that was way too big. And it was, I mean, it was like at least two sizes too big. And he's like, then I realized I should probably just throw that shirt away. And I'm like, what? This from the man who will wear socks that have three holes in them and still think that he should keep them. So um, hopefully, you know, we can go through this. And this whole next year is, it's not, it's not, deep diving and getting rid of everything and all of that but it is doing a surface like I don't need four of these things I can just get by with one I this morning I was thinking about I have four coffee pots um, different like automatic coffee pots that I'm like I am never gonna use again ever and one of them I was a bun one of the big commercial buns that I got for a great deal. I got it for like 30 bucks when Sears went out years ago. And I'm like, well, I can't get rid of that. That's so expensive. And I'm like, you paid $30 for that. You got your use out of it. Donate it. Or sell it. Or do something. Get it the hell out of the house. So um, I'm like, huh, I should go through all of that. And I, I looked over and I have this bin of stuff they're like fruit bins that I got at Costco. Fruit doesn't go in it. And I'm like looking over there and I, I mean, this was just li literally all while I was making coffee this morning. And I'm like, there's like five different sizes of coffee filters over there. Hmm. I don't use any of those. I should throw them away. And then I thought, I don't wanna throw them away because they're coffee filters. And people might use them. And I'm like, if you use them, then you have to throw them away. So, I, I think part of it is I'm like, well, I don't want to throw it away, but I don't know what to do with it because I can't really donate it. And I'm like, well, I guess I could donate coffee filters. I don't know. Um, or I can ask my family, hey, do you guys use filters? Because I know they use... Uh, they don't use a Chemex like me. And I have 
this y'all are gonna yeah you already know I'm crazy but um, my little shop the little discount shop had a shipment of Chemex filters come in those are normally at any regular store $8.95 for a box of a hundred yes they are a little expensive but they MPS was selling them for two dollars a box and I'm like I need them all so I kept buying them kept buying them I mean because a lot of people don't use a Chemex so they have no idea what it is and so my husband's like seriously do you know how long you can how many filters you have and I'm like I don't and I finally counted on average I go through a box every two and a half months. I have enough filters for the next four years. And I'm like, huh, okay. And so every once in a while I will see them at MPS, like one, one or two boxes. And I go to pick one up and I'm like, wait a minute, you have them for four years. How about you drop down a couple of boxes and then buy another box? And I'm like, that's probably a better idea. But then in my head, I'm like, oh, but they won't ever be as cheap. And I'm like, mm -hmm. obviously they are, because I mean, here they are. So I am starting to, to realize my whole like issues today. I was going to go to Savers and I'm like I just had an urge and I and I know when I get those urges that there's probably something good it's like my 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 shopping juju or so I like to call it and it could just be addiction to shopping but um, I was like why am I going and I'm like what am I looking for nothing I don't need anything anything so we already have lunch here so you don't need to go out and buy food because we had brought in lunch yesterday and there's leftovers why don't you eat that and then why don't you go walk around the block and I'm like oh, that's a much better idea I can go do um, get some steps in get out in the Sun do that because as soon as I get home we're going to watch Aquaman I mean, I am excited about Aquaman because not, okay. I am excited about Aquaman because yes, I do adore Jason Momoa. However, I would like to say and have it go on record that I have always been an Aquaman fan and I always felt like he got gypped because he was like the, the geekiest, like nerd kind of superhero. I'm like, he can talk to fish. Whoop, whoop. Funny side, funny aside. My husband, and he will laugh if he ever sees this, loves to put his hand out the window and, and just like feel the air on his hand. And I said, oh, it's kind of like, it's like your way you're breathing, like Aquaman. He goes, what? I said, you're breathing air like Aquaman, like except in, he's in the water. And he's like, how am I putting my hand out the window breathe like Aquaman and I said well like if you have gills in your hands and he's like honey do you think Aquaman has gills in his hands and I'm like well probably and he's like no. <laughs> I'm like I would imagine I, w I just thought like you know like fins and I don't know where my head goes sometimes it's like I get these little idea things in my head when I was a kid and I like just kind of consider them to be like canon. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so now every time he puts his hand out the window and does this, he's like, look, I'm breathing like Aquaman. And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> so little known fact, Aquaman does not have gills in his hands, nor would he need gills to breathe air, maybe water, not air. Also, another little tidbit. I don't know why I'm in an oversharing mood today. There is not an animal named 
that's called a lemma. I thought there was. There's a lemur, but not a lemma. And I was like, maybe it's a lemma. And Greg's like, a what? -a? And I'm like, a lemma. He's like, what's a lemma? And I'm like, I've decided that it's kind of like a puma, but I called it a lemma. I don't know why. Again, something. And I would like to attribute some of this to my older and younger brothers who tortured me tremendously growing up as I was the only girl and the middle child. And so I'm like, somewhere in the back of my head, I can picture my older brother telling me that this was a lemur or a lima and it's really a puma just to like mess with my head. So anyway, I have admitted quite a bit today. Hmm. Don't know if I'm gonna put that video out there. Probably will, just because, eh, whatever. And if any of you know of, a, of an animal named a lima, I would like to know that. Anyway, I'm getting into reading The Minimalist Home. And again, this is just to downsize all my crap so that I can live a little bit easier without like opening the door to my dressing room and going, oh God. Right now, there is a pile of shoes. Not like five or six pairs. Pile. 40 to 50 pair pile. I gotta tame that. And I'm like, and, and I will admit, most of them are, are sandals. And I'm like, ah, just toss them in there. And I'll figure it all out. I'll put them all back up. And I'm like, the one key thing that I have learned in, in this whole discovery process of getting rid of stuff. Buying more things to organize all your shit is not the answer. Getting rid of half your shit and then having enough space to organize what you need is key. So, I, I was stuck in the whole well, and, and it kind of carries over to planners, too. It's like, oh, well, I'll, obviously, I just need something else to organize this big pile of crap. How about you think about you don't need the big pile of crap? So, I was stuck in that kind of loop. I need more stuff to organize this. I need more. I, I now have it organized. I need to fill it up. And it's just like a never-ending cycle. Same thing with planners. I need to figure out how to do this. I'll just put it in a new planner. And there you go. Well, now you're carrying 12 planners and you still don't know how to control your life. Hmm. That's why I've got, I mean, the planner stack that you guys saw are like, I mean, I'm sure there are people out there going, she has five planners, really? What? Let's see, bullet journal, Hobonichi, Weeks, Hobonichi, Cousin of Beck, and my Jibun Techo and my pocket. So yeah, five. There you go. And the problem that a lot of people face is they get a new planner and they're like, what can I do with this? Nothing. Or I bought this planner, I have to use it. No, you don't. You can just put it in a drawer and like rotate it in and out. That's what I love about Traveler's Notebooks is because I can like take inserts out in, of a cover when I get bored with it or whatever and put something in the new cover and boom, there you go. But just because you bought that insert or that planner or whatnot doesn't mean you have to use it. And I know there are some people out there that are like, yeah, but I feel bad if I have a whole calendar that, you know, I don't use and I'm like, so what? It's paper. It doesn't have feelings. And yet, I do the exact same thing. I mean, don't think that I'm judging you at all because I'm just speaking from my experience of buying planners and going, well, I bought it, so I have to use it. I was looking through a um, one of my 2018 weekly, Hobonichi Weekly. I wrote on three pages the entire year. 
And I'm like, when freaking hell did I buy two of these this year for 2019? I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I'm, I'm carrying it, testing out whether or not I want to put all my appointments from work in one of them because I bought two and I feel like I have to use it. And I'm like, do I really need to carry my work stuff with me? Yes, yes I do because I refuse to put my work calendar on my phone because they don't pay for my phone. So, in a way it does work and I'm glad it does. But I was like, what can I use the second one for? I should have only got one. I don't know why I got two. Now I've got to figure it out because I'm now stuck in this dilemma because I have two. Hey, put it on an eBay and sell it. So, we all go through these ex existential, existential, I hate when I can't pronounce the word right off the bat, existential crises, but really, it's, it's basically a book that you can put in a drawer and get rid of, or burn it, or, you know, draw in it, do something, you don't have to, or don't do anything with it, you don't have to, there's no law, the planner police are not going to come after you if you don't use that monthly calendar for an entire year. If it's blank, come December 2019, you are not going to get arrested. I promise. I promise. But who knows? Maybe in June you're like, oh, I have that. I can use that for this. I, I am so glad I had it. That's what I did with that second weeks that I had that was, that I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to use it. And then it led me to the epiphany of the story of us and wanting to use my Cocoa Daisy inserts. If I had not had that and was trying to figure out why I wanted to use it or how I was going to use it, it would have never led me down the whole path of memory keeping, which I am so thankful for now. I love, I love it, but I, I, I don't think I would have ever like jumped the shark to get to that and done that. So who knows, but those of you who feel guilty about not using a planner, don't. I got a bazillion of them in my office or in my study studio. They're just sitting there. Remember the whole 17 bullet journals? So, if you got one planner you're not using, at least you don't have 17. Anyway, enough about my crazy randomness. I just wanted to get online here just in case I did not have time to do anything when I got home. So, because again, Jason Momoa, Aquaman. So, I will probably hop on quickly after Aquaman to let you guys know just how fabulous and wonderful it was. Pretty sure it's gonna be fabulous and wonderful. Hair, body, muscles, marvel. Of course, oh wait, oops. Somebody needs to yank my geek card. DC, see, there are a select few people that I think need to be over to Marvel. Wonder Woman, we will totally give DC Spider-Man if they would give us Wonder Woman. And, you know, Aquaman. I don't know who we'd get rid of, though, for Aquaman. Because, I mean, I'm a huge, I know some people be like, totally, did talk, and I'm like, hell no, I love Hawk. Um, or Hawkeye, not Hawk. Don't know. War Machine, maybe. Mm, no, still like War Machine. Not as happy with the Don Cheadle War Machine, but War Machine as a whole, I do enjoy. So, I just realized that I got from Minimalist Home to discussing Hawk, Hawkman, Hawkeye, DC, Marvel, and War Machine. <laughs> oh my god, it's stopping now. Hmm. Hey everybody, I just thought that I would uh, update you since uh, I talked about Aquaman earlier. So worth the ticket. Oh my gosh. And, and I'm not even talking about Jason and his absolutely amazing body. I'm just saying the whole storyline, the cinematography, 
it is visually stunning and I loved every minute of it. Now, I will say that I don't think anybody else on the planet could have pulled off Aquaman as cool as Jason does. And he does make it like so spot on. Willem Dafoe does a great job. I loved every bit of it. So, and so did Greg. So, and guess what? No breathing through his hands. Mm -hmm. But he can breathe underwater. So, there were a couple of things I questioned and then I figured out and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is even more amazing. So, go see it in the theater, see it in 3D if you can. It is absolutely and totally worth it. So, I'm now, as you can tell, ready to go to bed in my big granny flannel pajamas. But, um, and some kind of ink on my chin. Anyway, I am going to bed, but yeah, I'm gonna have Aquaman dreams. <laughs> and as a pole weapons fighter, oh, I now need a trident. So bad. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to you later.